Howdy y'all, I know it's been a while since the last time I put out a video, we were working on making the exhaust. Didn't really get as much exhaust as I would have liked done, but got enough on there to get it running. Haven't really just been doing some slow work and putting things together and whatnot. I'll show you a little bit what we've done since last time. Got the, uh, this radiator in here, got a bunch more lines ran. We actually, uh, I don't know if you can see here, drilled a hole in the firewall for the, uh, here, I'll show you, it comes out under the foot pedal here. Comes out down here, I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, it's gonna be for this little, Holly's little screen. Probably end up mounting this right about here. So I can see while I'm driving, not in the way of the shift or anything. I'll leave that in here for now. But yeah, I got the radiator in and hooked up. Got this whole new, uh, not new, core support in. Working on the hood. Need some more bolts, but we'll get that done today. Transmission, cooler. These lines right here are just gonna hook up. Get that done. So, starting to look like a truck again. So go ahead and start with this uh, fan shroud. I went ahead and stuck with the mechanical fan for now. I know a lot of y'all have been saying to probably do the, um, put electric fans in it, and I probably will down the road, but for now, we're going to uh, stick with the mechanical just to leave it alone. And put, a, put at least half this fan shroud in here so we can, uh, get the extra cooling and the the bottom the bottom shroud will get done but not right now just get this in here see how everything goes and works and I can always put the bottom one in later it's kind of a monster so we'll just get this in here it goes under the As you can see as well, these these lines were off my old engine and they just fit right in. Now that we got that in, we can get this line that runs across the top of it in for the fuse box. AC is just gonna get tied up here for now I've got the compressor but just to simplify things and the weather's nice don't need it to run so this is just going to get tied up still need to do the air filter but probably gonna end up doing that differently for now and then use this once we go to electric fans because as you can see this is not going to clear Start it up. It's been long 
overdue. Fluids are in. Just connect up this electrical. Should be good to go. Alright, so when we're connecting the battery, we sparked to the bracket for the computer. Hopefully, we didn't just fry everything completely. Alright, let's see what we got. Turn the key to run, and let's see. TPS Auto Set GFC Wizard. That's what it was saying. Right? Select system type. Next, next, firing order one eight seven two six five three four. It's cubic inches. Um, what is this actually? Three oh. sixty four. Go back one and see. Back liters six. There you go. Keep down there six target idle speed a thousand probably five to seven. Oh my gosh this thing is 820 820 sounds good next camshaft specs uh the low option no below 235 default one yeah. well there's the ignition type, 24 tooth or 58? Uh, I believe it was 24, I thought. Injectors, OEM. All right, yep, because yep. it's just the wiring. Yep. yep, next. Here we go. Oh, gosh, we're going to have to look this up. What's that? OEM injector settings. There's a lot. Alright, well, I'll do some Googling and we'll be right back. Alright, after some quick Googling, we're back. It's the 1711-3698. Uh, I don't know if you can read that on here. But, we're back to programming. Power adder, none for now. Drive-by wire, yes. Next. Transmission control, yes. Transmission type, uh, this one, 4L80. Tire diameter, tire? The tire diameter? That's what it says. Like outside of the tire? It says tire diameter, so yeah. Oh, that's how it's going to calibrate your speedo. Should be about 33 or 32 and a half. Uh, I'm right now on these treads, I'm getting 30 and a half. Oh, geez. So, with the newer ones, go with 31. All right, well, we'll go down to 31s. 31. You can go up to 70 inches. God, that's a tire. It's for my tractor or my monster truck. Next, rear end ratio. Uh, what's in this? Oh, jeez. What do we figure out? Three... Three... Was it the, mine's a 373. That's kind of standard, but... Doesn't this like a 317 or something? Oh, because we did, it's, no, this is the, the good one. What did we figure out? Well, the higher ratio was better for acceleration, so that's like 373 here. I think it was. That's what mine is in the. Because we did this, you know, we've, yeah. Until I get my 411. You want me to pull the plate off and count gears? What is this number? Start. 
start. Okay, we're uploading. Please cycle the ignition to complete the operation. Does it mean off and back on? Yeah. Okay. Off. Yeah. Did you go off? Yeah, I turned it off. Oh, my lights changed. Okay. Setting somewhere so it knows you did a yeah, it asked, mechanical. It said drive by wire. And that's off? Okay. Unless it didn't save or something when oh. I wizards. Because it's acting like it's dry by wire when it's not. Wizards. Well, we can run through this again. Oh god. <laughs> Don't know what else to do here. So. Okay, is there a not wizard? Just a oh. <clears throat> Definitely. Eight firing order. Come on. Six. Seven. Oh. Things touchy. Things super touchy. Seven fifty. We'll go with that. Below twenty four tooth. OEM seventeen eleven. None. Try by wire. No. You won't know because you're doing. Oh, yep. Transmission control, yes. 480. Tire 31. Let me tell you, Holly, your touch screens are not as good as cell phones. <laughs> That's what you want right there. 411, we'll get there. Three. Say next. Start. Please cycle the ignition to complete the operation. Okay. If I hit OK. Operation completed, finished. Now, here, let's turn it off and off. just wait a sec. Okay. That's your steering. On. Let's check that TPS. Should Perform a TPS auto set before, okay, before startup. Okay. okay. Now that's the pedal thing. Wizards, TPS. Yes. Yes. Next. Next. Yes. Done. Monitor. Sensor. Oh, no. Back. Sensor right there. Oh. Perfect. Zero. Zero. All right, the little screen gave us the ready to go. We've got a whole bunch of green lights. These yellows are the first stuff that doesn't really matter right now. Everything's got fluid. We got the big fire extinguisher ready. Just go ahead and pull this pin here so we're ready to go. <laughs> okay, maybe not. We'll, we'll leave the pin in for now and hope we don't burn the garage down. All right, I guess we're gonna give it a whirl. Oh, we probably need that screen. This guy. RPM will change to sinking. Let's, I guess, give her a crank. Uh. The battery. Battery. Okay. Standby. All right, standby. So much for charging the battery. We just left this thing running for about an hour. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, got the little battery starter on here. Yeah, 13.5. And I guess we'll give her a crank. No, 
or are gonna let it charge, I guess, for a little bit. <laughs> All right, try this round 42. Cranked, turned over the engine, and where to put the key? Wait for this thing to boot up here. It wants the that screen. And that thing kind of just locked somewhere. Yeah. Alright. Nope. Disconnected the starter. Reconnected the starter. Found out the starter wasn't connected on the battery side. So now let's try this again. Yeah. Yeah, we'll connect the charger. Oh, 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 oh. Smoke everywhere. Look. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's something's burning. Ah, crap. Where's the light? Something's literally. It's burning. probably a wire. It's probably a wire that's been not capped off, but I thought they all were. I'm just worried burning your laptop somewhere. See if you can track it while the smoke's still there. All right, take three now. Let's see what we can get. Sorry, <laughs> I wasn't ready. Try this again. Oh, yep, there's like 13 volts. We've got voltage there. Okay. okay, well, there comes the smoke. It's right down here off the back of the cylinder wall somewhere. There's probably just 8 million of those wires uncut still. Wow. Well, there's one that's... The insulation is exposed, but it's not touching anything. We got stuff I can see. Copper wire. All right, here we go. Take whatever we're on now. Got voltage. Got some wires snipped up that we think we're smoking. And hopefully should have fuel up here now. And let's, let's give her a go again. Let's see. Okay, I went to start. Oh, okay. There's the smoke again. Oh, lots of smoke. Oh my God. All right, y'all, so after multiple attempts to start and a bunch of smoke issues, not sure where the smoke's coming from yet, we're gonna check some grounds tonight. Battery also seemed weak, so gonna let that charge up and hopefully have a full battery and be ready to go tomorrow. We'll see though, still not sure where the smoke's coming from. And right towards the end, was having some ignition issues so hopefully nothing's melted or too bad and just needs full charge and be ready to go tomorrow, but gonna let the battery charge up. It says it's done already, but it's not. Let it charge up and check some more wiring and hopefully have a start for you next time.